Good evening. I am here after taking a day off. Uh, and that was kind of a mistake because a lot of shit happened in the last, like, 36 hours. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, I, I, for starters, I took off yesterday because, um... Uh, I wasn't feeling- I was feeling tired after work. Uh, work actually wasn't bad. I just had a lot of other stuff, like, kind of going on in my mind. This music's still too loud. Um, and yeah, I just kind of- I just wanted to take a bit of a break. Uh, I did do something, though, which I'll show off in just a moment. But first, let me just make sure the sound is okay. That's that's weird. The actual did the music like get lower on stream? Hold on a second. I want I want to check to see if it actually gets louder now. Yeah, it does. Oh, all right. Well, that answers that question. I was wondering why that happens. Um, cool. All right. So music will have to blow out my ears a bit. Actually. It's turn down the monitor probably and it sounds better um so yeah there was quite a bit of uh gaming news the last uh two days and uh trying to talk about that over playing 3d world is going to be a pain so i figured i'd just yeah, you know get it out of the way now um so where to start here no let's start with that we don't need that, whatever that was. Uh, well, first off, let me slap these on the screen, because uh, if I don't do something like that, uh, Pokemon Company will will come and chop my legs off, apparently, since that's what happened when I live-tweeted the Let's Go trailer, to, or live-streamed the Let's Go trailer two years ago. Three years ago? I don't know how long it's been. It's, 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 uh... Time has completely eluded me. Fun fact, a year ago today, I was in Texas for the second time in my life, enjoying the last time I'd leave the house for anything recreational in... since then. Ugh. How depressing. Anyway, yesterday... Oh, actually, wait, before I get to that, let me, um... Let me pop the, uh, browser capture open. Look, there I am. Um... So, first thing... Something cool that I did, uh, I made a custom overlay for my stream thumbnails, um, which I think is, is pretty cool. Um, it was kind of hastily made, it was made in MS Paint, it's just literally the lightning bolt stamp stretched out. I made a couple of, uh, like a set of numbers layered on top of each other and I pasted the, the gamer board there. It's nice, it's recognizable, people like that know me will know that's a video of mine, and then I just pasted it on top of a, you know, an image or a thumbnail, whatever. Uh, I kind of, yeah, this is, there's part two. I kind of moved the numbers up a bit because they wouldn't fit down here, like where they were in this one. Getting them to be uniform is going to be very tough. I might have to make some sort of edit to the template to make them work a little better. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty neat. I, I'm glad I finally have it. I was going to commission, like, a good one, but I think it's, it's not really that necessary for, you know, my level of streaming here. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Uh. Let's turn off the Pokemon music for a bit. Hey, Shellshock, how you doing? I'm, I'm pretty good. Uh, so... I'm not gonna play any of this, but, like, you know, there was a... A Sony thing and a Pokemon thing. I figured I'd just... Give my thoughts on both of them really quick. Not that anyone really cares about them. But, uh... Yeah, and also, I, I'm, I'm not capturing the video. Like, I don't have the video downloaded. So let's let me just scrub through this. Crash on PS5 looks cool, I guess. I've never I've only played one Crash game in my whole life. So actually, why did I why did I turn that music off? I might as well keep that on. <laughs> I, I just remembered I'm not actually playing the videos. But yeah, Crash is pretty cool. Like I I haven't had much exposure with it. I actually don't have the trilogy. I have I have the Spyro trilogy, which I still have not played. Um, I do think it's cool that it's coming to PS5. Like, a lot of these games are getting free updates, which are neat, but I don't really, again, I don't own any of the PS4 versions, so there you go. Uh, what else we got? Uh, 
this, uh, not really a whole lot interested in it. Serious games, I kind of zone out. And in fact, I didn't watch like half of this presentation. <laughs> I was kind of working while it was going on. And I was watching someone else's reaction. I just kind of glanced over when something caught my eye. And uh, spoilers, dark shooters, dark colored shooters don't really do it for me. I have respect for some of them, but it's just like, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, what do we got here? This is that this is that knockout city game from the uh, Nintendo Direct last week. Only without the cool trailer part at the beginning and just the gameplay, which it's a game. It's dodgeball, I guess, if you like that. Shrug. Oops. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Uh, this game looked okay. Um, it's kind of just a kicky, kicky game. This one looks pretty cool. Again, I'm not really keeping up on these games. Doing well, just relaxing. Nice. Good to hear that. Why isn't my chat, like, updating on my phone? This is really hard to do because I'm, like, actually using the, the, the site that I would use to, uh, to look at the chat to show, to show off the video screenshots or whatever. Again, I mean, there's a whole lot. Five Nights at Freddy's is getting, like, an actual game. It, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look bad. I've only played the first one. I wouldn't be opposed to checking it out if it's a decently made game. But, uh, otherwise, whatever. Odds, Odd World, uh, again, not a series I've delved into. A lot of people are happy about it. Glad it's happening. Uh, but definitely not, definitely not my thing. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hear that a lot about PlayStation, because the truth is, there's really not anything that's my thing here, except for the end, which was... Well, actually, no, that's not true. Uh, Deathloop does seem pretty cool. Uh, I am interested in this game, and it's coming out on PC, so I may play it on that. The video doesn't want to show anything here, whatever. This is the segment's kind of a disaster. It's kind of all being like done off the cuff here. Uh, but yeah, then we get to the Final Fantasy VII stuff, which is, uh... Okay, this is- well, this is fucked. Um... Alright, don't worry about that. Whoa, no. So, Final Fantasy VII stuff. So, the PS5 is getting the Final Fantasy VII remake. You get a free upgrade to it if you own the PS4 version. That's cool. You have to buy the Yuffie DLC separately. Whatever. I mean, you're still getting the, the PS5 version for free with all the upgrades, which is really nice. Um, the fact that the UV DLC is, like, exclusive to PS5 is kind of lame. Uh, but at the same time, it's not really... It's not really, like... Like, you kind of expect them to do that because they really want to sell this version of the game. I don't think any future FF7 remake parts are going to be doing that. Um, I personally will not be getting a PS5. Especially not just to get that. Maybe when the rest of the remake comes out, we'll get one. Uh, but right now, I, I could do without. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, and then after that, Square Enix announced two spin-off FF7 games, which uh, there's like a whole load of opinions about those. I think they're okay. I, it, it is weird that we're getting like this deluge of deluge, deluge, deluge. I don't know of of FF7 content like rapidly after years of nothing. And it's also kind of weird because it's just like. FF7's always been the popular one, but and even that couldn't get new content for a long time, and now it now it is, so that's cool. Uh, the the battle royale one, you know, it's it's battle royale. Who cares? It, it it's got like MOBA elements in it, which is cool. Um, I'm probably not gonna play it, even if it is free to play. If there's no story, then what's the point? Like I'm playing FF7 for the story, not for the gripping multiplayer competitive gameplay. Um, then we have the. What was the other one? Ever Crisis, which is a really bizarre game. Like, it's it was weird how it kind of started, and now it's like, like... Like, the premise for it, it was interesting, and the more you hear about it, the weirder it kind of gets. It's like, essentially like a full... Another full remake of FF7, along with all the supplemental material, done in, like, a mobile phone game style with FF13's ATB system. It's, it's bizarre, and it's interesting. Like, it's interesting enough that I want to try it out, at the same time, though, like, why why is this mobile phone only? 
this is the kind of thing that would be perfect for, and I hate being the guy that says everything should come to Switch, but it'd be perfect for the Nintendo Switch. Because you'd get, like, all the Final Fantasy VII content without needing to bring Remake over. And I know original ff is already on Switch, but, I mean, I don't know why Square Enix would turn that down. Maybe they'll announce it before it comes out, who knows. Really, it's just, you know, it, everything's up in the air. I, I'm very curious about the pricing structure of the game. I don't know what it, uh, how it's gonna be regarding buying chapters. It, it, if it ends up being like a $100 game, that's, that's not good. Especially if it's single player only, which it seems to be according to the, uh, description. So, at the end, at the end of the day, you know, we need more info. Oops, I accidentally clicked something I should not have. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII. I, I mean, if anything, I'm just thinking that it's, it's really nice that we're getting updates on the series, and that means that Remake Part 2 might not be too far away. Oh, thank you. I don't have the alert set up on this uh, scenery, but thank you for the bit, Shellshock. Um, yeah. Again, the reason I'm not show playing the video over this is because... Um, I, I've had a tendency, I've done it before, and tendency for the, of the companies to, you know, come after a small streamer for reacting to it. Whatever. I mean, it is what it is. Um, then we had the Pokemon thing today, which was, which was also cool. Um, maybe this one will actually, ah, whatever. You know what, it's not even worth it. So let's see, Pokemon news. Uh, updates to existing games. None of them mattered because it's all Kanto shit. You had uh, Sword and Shield has the, the Pikachu uh, Gigantamax thing. Uh, Pokemon Go is getting another Kanto uh, thing. It's, it's, it's all the same shit we've seen a million times. Um, Poke New Pokemon Snap looks really good, though. I am looking forward to... Um, to that game. I'm probably going to stream that when it comes out at the end of uh, April. Haven't ordered it yet. I think it might just be... A, I might just get it digitally. I don't know if I need a physical edition of that game. Uh, it looks nice, though. Namco's doing a real good job with it. Which is interesting, because you know, Pokemon's not a stranger to outsourcing projects, but it's, it's interesting how many of them are being outsourced now, including the new mainline title. Because now, the, you know, one of the two big pieces of news today was that we're getting Diamond and Pearl remakes. And they're being done by a completely different company, which, I mean, Monster is still going to be directing it, but I don't think that's that's ever happened with the mainline title before, and it's it's weird to see it. Um, it's also weird to actually see the remakes, because they look weird. Um, but, you know, also, people complain so much about how Gen 8 looked. It's like, well, Game Freak went with a different direction on it. They try to do something more in line with the original game that people enjoyed, and people still don't like that. So, at the end of the day, there's no winning. <laughs> there really isn't. I think it looks fine. It's 60 bucks, which is, you know, again, 10 to $20 more than you should be paying for a Pokemon game. But, I'll still get it. I'll still get it, and maybe I'll even stream it. Who knows? I did not stream Sword and Shield, because uh, the day that I got it, I was going to start it on stream, and then stuff happened, and I just never did. And I never streamed uh, Sword and Shield at all, even when the expansions came out. But it looks nice. I'm hoping they add enough to the game to make it, like, substantial. Even if it's just including the stuff from Platinum, which, by the way, I've never played Platinum, so that would be awesome for me. It'd be a great new, um... It'd be a great new thing to experience. Also, the names are great. Was it Brilliant Diamond? It was. It's BDSP. It's BDSM, but with the P at the end instead. Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, great... I wish they had switched the first words in both of them, just so I could buy a a JoJo meme in Pokemon form, because I would have loved Shining Diamond, even if that means I'm a filthy dub lover. Which, by the way, that's ironic because that's an ironic statement because I love anime dubs and I honestly watch them for inspiration sometimes, because you know the whole voice acting thing. And then we had the last thing, which was uh, the Pokemon Legends game, which it looks really cool. I like the first off, I love the fact that it's another Sinnoh game and it's just taking place in a completely different time. 
I like the I like the implication. I like that there's probably hopefully going to be a lot more story to it, like a lot more poignant story, and not just like the same cookie cutter kind of setup that most Pokemon games run into. I've been talking for so long, the music's over. All right, well there you go. Uh, that means it's time to wrap that up. But real quick, early look at it looked looked very crusty. Um, to you know, to steal to steal quote uh, word from Vinny. There, there was a lot of dipped frame rates. It, the graphics itself looked fine. Like, the, the characters had nice shadowing and lighting effects on them. Looked a bit more upgraded from how Sword and Shield was. They weren't as stiff in terms of movements. You actually had dodge rolling, which I'm assuming means that your character could get attacked. Um, but it looks nice. It looks, it looks interesting. Supposedly, there's going to be an ATB instead of a turn-based system for it. Don't know if that's just a rumor or not, or if that's something that the early release materials actually said. I'm assuming it's a rumor because it no, Pokemon hasn't actually said anything about it. And, um, yeah, it looks it looks neat. I'm looking forward to seeing what Pokemon are in it. I gotta say, one thing that I really like, I love the starter spread in it. How they have, um, was it Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawott? So you have kind of different starters from every gen. Not every gen, but not gen 4. And I think that's really cool, and I'm obviously going to be choosing Rowlet because I've already... Because I have to. I have to choose the bird. And also, I love Decidueye. As for the Diamond and Pearl remake, I actually don't know who I'll choose. I chose, um, Piplup my first playthrough. And I don't know if I want to go with the same choice second playthrough. Like, I did... Well, I mean, I did that with every remake except the first one. So, maybe I will. I don't know. To be honest, Chimchar and Turtwig never appealed to me. Especially their final evolutions. Neither did Empoleon, though. I gotta say, in terms of final evolutions, Gen 4 probably has my least favorite. Empoleon's okay, but... I don't know. I, I actually think Chimchar's is, is the best overall. But I still don't like it that much. Monkey. But yeah, um... Legends seems very ambitious, and I'm curious to see what it'll... I, I know it's an extremely early look at it. I'm really hoping to see... Well, I'm really hoping it cleans up a bit more before it comes out next year. I'm also a bit surprised that that's the game that's being made in-house while the Diamond and Pearl remakes are the ones being outsourced. You'd think it'd be the other way around. Also, apparently Legends is going to be single-player only, so... That's, that's interesting, I guess. I, if that means they're going to put more effort into the single-player aspect of it, then that's great. Bring it on. I'm, I'm really curious about it. If it's not actually going to connect to the other games, then that's fine too, honestly. Ooh, excuse me. I just ate a whole load of tortilla chips uh, for most Southwest uh, Grill. Is it Grill? I don't know. So I guess that's it, really. That's all. It, it didn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot of news. Um, I think my one fear, and I just mentioned this on Twitter, is that now we have nine Pokemon, nine starter Pokemon that are all eligible with Smash DLC, and I really don't want another Pokemon character in Smash. But if it has to be one, I either want Inteleon from Sword and Shield or Decidueye to represent Legends, but, you know, it, I think it's unlikely. I think, I think all of them are unlikely. Maybe Inteleon, just because it's the newest one. But please, please, Sakurai. Not until not until Fighters Pass 3, if it exists. Which it might not. And also, it's not Sakurai's choice. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry for that Smash reveal. Well, actually, the, not reveal, the Pyra video next week. Also... I was looking into that. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 has a lot of spirits in the game already. If they're going to add another, like, 10, they're going to be pulling from either, like, the enemies or the villains because pretty much every main character is already there. So I'm a bit confused at what they're doing for spirits for that. But uh, I guess we'll find out in less than a week. Uh, and then they'll probably get the character the following Tuesday, which will be great because I'll be able to stream that right before the charity streams start. And that'll be how I transition back into uh, all the charity shit. So anyway, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. That was me talking about uh, PS5 games that I didn't know about and Pokemon for 20-something minutes. 20 minutes. I um and ah too much. Uh, no, I don't want the DS overlay. I want the main overlay. Anyway, uh, let me...
get set up here and I will start the actual gaming. <laughs> 